In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, today we are going to see Jesus who is calling Bartimaeus. The Bible says, Jesus stopped and said, call him. This, this is a call from Jesus. Jesus is calling you, my dear friends. Jesus is calling us. Jesus is calling you for what you want you to do. Listen to what he's telling you to do and follow his instructions because the instructions of Jesus are so wise hallelujah let us listen over his calls and follow him My brothers and sisters, let us continue with this call from Jesus. Jesus stopped and said, call him. Hallelujah. Call him. Today we are going to meditate about call him. Who is that him? Bartimaeus, of course. Who is going to call Bartimaeus? Those people. Hallelujah. I love the way Jesus does his things. Hallelujah. For him, he doesn't hide. Hallelujah. Amen. Those people, they are those who were scolding Bartimaeus and told him to be quiet. But for him, he, could, he shouted even more loudly because he knew what he wanted to have from Jesus. And from Bartimaeus, he knew, he knew, he, he, he is not calling for those people. He was calling to Jesus, hallelujah. We have to know who, hallelujah, to who we are calling, hallelujah. So if you don't know who you are calling, means everyone will stop you to call, to, to shout, to talk. But when you know, hallelujah, who you are calling, means you will not be disturbed with their voices, which will stuck you to talk. But for you, you will continue, continue talking because you have something you have to get from that person you are calling. And that person is a very good person. Like Jesus, who didn't keep quiet, but who didn't even go to Bartimaeus tell him to shut up? But he said, call him. Hallelujah. Call him. And those people, after Jesus said, call him, they did what? They called the blind man, cheer up. They said, get up, he's calling you. Hallelujah. Get up, he's calling you. Those who were telling him, shut up. Be quiet. They are those who are telling him, come, he's calling you. And they did humbly, like they were pity of, uh, on, uh, on Bartimaeus. But when you see how the story is, you can see that they are like hypocrites because... For them, winning, they didn't win from their hearts. They didn't want Bartimaeus to meet Jesus. But because Jesus comes to Bartimaeus, for them they are calling Bartimaeus with, like, with kindness. Hallelujah. With kindness. Not because they are kind to uh, themselves, but because Jesus is kind to Bartimaeus, 
And that kindness of Jesus is dominating their kindness, their bad kindness. And then they go to Bartimaeus with that, uh, I don't know how I can, hypocrisy. They say, oh, come, he's calling you. My brothers and sisters, this is how people are. This is how our surrounding is. When Jesus says, if Jesus says, tell him to shut up, how do we, will you do, how did you, um, that, um, sorry, sorry, let me repeat. If Jesus says, tell, them to, tell him to shut up, try to imagine how, how happy or how those people will be. Because for them, they don't want Bartimaeus to be with Jesus. They don't want Jesus to listen over the cry of Bartimaeus. And they squat him to shut down, to shut up. And when Jesus comes to Bartimaeus, they become like kind to Bartimaeus. How is the attitude of Bartimaeus? Bartimaeus have to teach us many, many things. We have many, many things we can learn from Bartimaeus. The first is to know who we have to call. Second, you have to know if they try to discourage us, we have not to be discouraged by them. Third, we have to pray unceasingly because we know what we need. For when we meet that person we are calling, we, we ignore those people. Because Bartimaeus didn't say, oh, you come because he's calling me. Go, go, go away from me. Because no, he, for him, he was focused on Jesus. He couldn't even see that, that, that people, he couldn't even try spend his time to those people. For him, he was like, we, he himself with Jesus, only. For him, he was like with Jesus, hallelujah. He was ignoring those people with this surrounding. The surrounding has his forces, and don't, don't even take time for following their voices. They are stuck because they can stack you to go to Jesus. Follow Jesus because you know Jesus, you know who is Jesus, and you can know whom you are calling. Hallelujah. And when you follow Jesus, don't be stuck by people. Call him. Hallelujah. Call him. Jesus could go straight to Bartimaeus and call him himself. But Hallelujah, this is how Jesus is. He didn't want to call him himself. He sent those people. Because what was happening between Bartimaeus and the people, Jesus was away. He was away. He could see how people are bad. Jesus can see. Hallelujah. His eyes are not closed. Sometimes he can leave us for a, for a while so that we can be discussing with our surroundings. We pray, but the, our surroundings are saying the contrary. Hey, you pretend to pray, but you are a liar. You, you, they have many, many things they, do, they say. And they pretend to be Christians. My brothers and sisters, this is so serious. Be careful. Be careful with those people who are surrounding you. Hallelujah. When Jesus said, call him, means he, want, he wanted them to, to know what he's planning. To know that he is totally different from them. Hallelujah. Jesus wanted to, that them to know what he's going to do. If Jesus 
said nothing to Bartimaeus. People could say, Jesus is like us. But because Jesus did a lot, people could say, oh, Jesus is totally different from us. There is a reason why Jesus is telling you, I'm totally different from you, because he wants you to repent, to convert yourself, because you are not equal to Jesus. You are following him, but not equal to him. My dear friends, that is how Jesus is. He is more than kind. He is more than humble. And he can go wherever people call him from. If it is in the prison, Jesus can go there. If it is in the, I don't know, the whole Jesus can go there. If there is a voice, if there is someone who is calling him, Jesus can go there. No matter the situation you in the situation you have you are, Jesus will come to you. And when he comes to you, he will know to go without doing something. He will do something, be sure, hallelujah. I want to assure you, my dear friends, when Jesus comes, he will do something, be sure. Hallelujah. Call him. This is Jesus who is saying, call him. Hallelujah. You who want him to shut down, to shut up, call him. Because for me, I love him more than you. More than, more than you do. You, you are like Bartimaeus. He is your relative. But you don't p- take pity on him. But for me, I'm not like you. That is what Jesus is telling us today. There are many Bartimaeus around us. Many, many Bartimaeus around us. They wanted to see Jesus, but for us, we, we are the stuck to them. Today, Jesus wants you to convert yourself, to repent. He wants you to change your mind because he wants you to be kind to those who are suffering. Brothers and sisters, may God bless you. I you know we, were, we are Bartimaeus in one side, another side, we are the people who are stacking Bartimaeus to talk to Jesus. Whatever we are, whoever we are, we have to convert ourselves. If we are Bartimaeus calling to Jesus, we have to ignore the surrounding. If we are the people to Bartimaeus, we have to know Jesus is a pity on Bartimaeus more than we do. That is why we have to change ourselves to follow Jesus with kindness, with love, because no matter what we do, no matter what we say, Jesus will save Bartimaeus. He will heal him and Bartimaeus will have his eyes open. May God bless you, my dear friends and go to be the light where you stay and don't be like those people at least let us be like Bartimaeus in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen